Right, love. You left out early. That was my little in. Dad, please, can you be quiet? I'm just trying to get her to sleep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry again. Well, it was like this all last night, and it wasn't this bad in the hospital. Well, he'd have a crack team of nurses around the clock care. Look, she likes you more than me, and I'm not even sure I know what I'm doing. Well, no one's coming to help you. Well, he would have, but he's apprenticing with Marcus. He wants to make a good impression, so he's been getting there early and all that. Oh. Come on, then. I'll watch Chester while you get ready for that meeting. Oh, the dreaded college review. Can't wait. Can I wait? No, things have been tough, but we'll get better. Come on, Esther. Hey. Thanks again for giving me the chance. Well, um, like an enthusiasm. Look, pro tip, I hear your boss likes bacon butties. If you wanna, you know, suck up to him. Hey, how's it going? Oh, boss is running me ragged. I can't get him off my back. <laughs> I'm just drunk with power. <laughs> right, um, the boss needs the little electrician's room. Oh, she looks so happy. Yeah, she's been good as gold. I told you I could handle it. Check you out. Super mum. Hey, Amelia, what can I get you? Oh, um, please can I have a decaf latte to take out, please? No caffeine whilst on breastfeeding duties. Where are you heading off to with this little puppet? We're off to that college review meeting. We're gonna take the bus. Is everything okay? Yeah, good. Everything is great. No one expects you to be Ms. Marvel. <sighs> Look, the truth is, Esther kept me up all night and I was really struggling. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want you to think I was whiny. You're not. <laughs> You're a great mum. It's it's just a big adjustment. Yeah, no, was right. Don't be so hard on yourself. And if you need anything at all, give Samson a shout and he'll be there. Um, can you come see us on your lunch later? We could watch TV or something. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so busy today. But I could come and see you later, after I finish. We could do something then. Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, I'd best go or I'll miss the bus. See ya. Here you go, my treat. Are you sure you're going to be OK making your way to that college with Esther? Oh, yeah, I'll try and give it a go and all. I might have a solution that might just help out. What's going on? Oh, your dad. He's bought up half the shop. He's got about 30 tins of formula, 20 dubbies, and I don't know why he thinks we need about six months worth of nappies. And what's she doing here? Oh, I saw Amelia in the cafe. Poor lass would be beside herself. What would baby? She hadn't slept. Will you? We need to get a move on. I told Will I'd only be half an hour. What do you do that for? It's going to take us half an hour just to get to the hospital. Because Kim will only give me so many chances and I couldn't exactly ask for a day off, could I? Yes, you could. Like normal people. Right, here you go. She needs changing. That receptionist don't like me either. Wait, where are you going? I'm just taking your dad for his follow-up at the hospital. I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for you to step up and bond with baby. Oh, what are you trying to do to me? I've got stuff on. Samson, you better look after Esther or so help me. The next person crying will be you. And another thing, you can't go spending money willy-nilly, even if it is for baby. Uh, but can you put a price on love? Yes. You're overdrawn. It's all going back tomorrow. Come on. <sighs> to our son. You. Best not be thinking this is happening again. Hey. Where's Lydia? Oh, her and my dad to nip out, so they've left me to it. Oh, Thanks for looking after Esther. Looks like you've got the magic touch. So how have you two been getting along then? Fine. She just needed a nappy changing. Yeah. It's been quite hard trying to look after her. I've had, like, no sleep. Well, it is a full-time job having a baby, especially when you're a kid. Yeah, I thought that. But I've got loads of support, so we'll get there. How was that meeting? Yeah, they're really supportive. Offered a lot of help. They're really big on getting you into your chosen career and all that, so that's a load off. Yeah, when are you going back? Oh, not really decided yet. Maybe in a few weeks. Not being funny, but I can't imagine trying to look after Esther with my A-levels. 
Well, how are you going to fit in all that study? I mean, there's loads of essays to do and tons of reading. Well, I can work at my own pace initially and then just build it up as Esther gets older. Yeah, but I know you've always talked about travelling. You know, leave Hotton. What about that? It's not the end of my life, Samson. No, but you can never make any proper plans, can you? And it's the same with a part-time job, because that means flexible working hours. You can't exercise, you can't hang out with your mates, because there's just not time. So it's going to be hard, but not impossible. Look, there is one way that you can get your life back. That you can achieve all these dreams. How, exactly? I think we should put Esther up for adoption. It's not fair to kill your dreams for a baby. You need to face reality. I had plans that the baby's ruined. And that's just this one hour. Who said I was giving up anything? Yeah, but you can't just rely on everyone to jump in when you need help. Look at Dad and Lydia. They just took off and dumped her on me. I'm not doing this again. Fine, I won't ask. Yeah, but you didn't even want the baby to start with. Yeah, I know what I said, but I can manage. Are you sure about that? How many successful teen mums do you know? Before you know it, you'll drop out of college, be on baby two, three, and Noah, he'll be out of work again. That's class, that. I thought you cared about Esther. I don't want to be a dad. She's going to ruin both of our chances of having a good future. You need to get rid of her. I'd never get rid of her. She's a baby, Samson. My baby. Yeah, she's not mine. And I thought the worst thing you did was telling me to get an abortion, but this... This is even nastier. It's for the best. You'll see. No, what's for the best is for Esther to be with family. And you're not family. We don't need you. He wants me to put Esther up for adoption. Who said that? He just came out with it. He's bang out of order. I just don't understand. I'd never give her up. Well, that's him told then. He'll have just been thinking about himself. You and Esther are well shot of him. Yeah, but then he started twisting everything. Saying I won't be able to do anything with my life. Well, don't listen to him. What about if he's right, though? What if I can't be the best mum to my baby? No, you are a brilliant mum. And a great student. You can do this. I'm a mess, Noah. I can't sleep and the baby's keeping me up all hours. I mean, what am I going to do? You've got me now. And so does Esther. In fact, I got you something. Well, it's for you and the baby. No, you shouldn't be spending your money on us. You already gave us that baby bouncer. Plus, you've got a lot on with your new apprenticeship. Well, you're both priorities to me. I set up a cot in my room. Just for when you need a break. You can bring her over and I'll help look after her. What? You did that like an actual cot? That's brilliant. Thanks, Noah. Do you want to stay over tonight? What? With you? I didn't mean like that. <laughs> you can have my bed and get some proper sleep. Esther can try out a new cot, and I'll sleep on the floor and feed her if you like. Can't believe it. You're actually a miracle worker. <laughs> what do you want? You're well out of order. Wanting Amelia to get rid of Esther. I'm not out of order. I'm the only one who's being honest. Anyway, what's it got to do with you? Amelia is well hurt, and it's the last thing she needs right now. I'll just back off, all right? Whatever. Look, a few months ago, you wouldn't have even given Amelia the time of day. Now you're acting like the knight in shining armour. Well, I'm better than you for a fact. If anything, you're making things worse by being with Amelia. You're giving a false hope. You'll mess it up in the end. No, I won't. Because I'm not the loser here. No, you're the one that went to prison. And you took advantage of Amelia when she'd been up all night looking after Esther, putting all that stuff in her head. She don't deserve either of them. Oh, it's none of your business. Amelia and Esther are my business. You let her think that you actually cared about the baby. But instead, you pretended so she'd be easy to manipulate. Oh, I want no to do with Amelia, and I want no to do with that kid. You can't even say her name. There's something wrong with you, pal. She is in well over her head, and you're the creepy boyfriend that's been sent down. Not exactly ideal parents. But at least I'm there for them. Cos when Esther looks up from that cot, 
It'll be me that picks her up and feeds her. And she'll never have to think about you, because I'll be the dad she deserves. I'll just do one. Whatever, mate. Hello, social services. I think a baby's been neglected. <laughs> 